They may be hovering over you. Or you. Or you. Everybody, we're back. We're back. Had some technical difficulties. That was fun. <laughs> always, a good, always fun. Always a good time. Keep you on your toes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I love that lady at the end of that intro. She's so, yeah. she's so, so evil. I'm looking forward to playing that movie, and you're gonna love it. Christopher Lee, yeah, um, was in it, and. Um, and um, Valentine Dial is in it, the Black Guardian from Doctor Who. Yay! Uh, and today we are back to doing another TV movie, which seems to be a favorite of ours lately because they're just so damn good. They are, and they were good times. And this one is called Something Evil by Steven Spielberg. It's a 1972 made-for-television horror film starring Sandy Dennis, Darren McGavin, and Ralph Bellamy, directed by Steven Spielberg, and the screenplay was written by Robert Klaus. I'm just so impressed that this is a Steven Spielberg, uh, we were saying earlier. Um, you said that his, it was his second, only his second directorial? Yeah, right after he did the movie Duel in 1971, he went on and did this one. That is so cool. I can't wait to see this now. And uh, yeah, I, it just, I'm so excited just to hear that Spielberg <laughs> directed it. Yeah. And the synopsis is Steven Spielberg's second television film. A married couple with two young children move into a Pennsylvania farmhouse that turns out to be inhabited by demons. Jeremy Gavin portrays Paul, the TV producer husband, while Sandy Dennis plays his artist wife, Marjorie. Poppy Child star Wood Johnny Whitaker co-stars as their oldest child. You'll recognize him right away with his curly hair, and because Walt Disney oh, yeah. used him a lot in their their early seventies movies. They sure did. Ralph Bellamy portrays the friendly neighbor Harry, Harry the neighbor, and uh, the home and countryside seems to be idyllic until a strange thing starts to occur. The sound of a baby crying wakes Marjorie up several times, and ultimately leads to a creepy discovery. Ooh. Do you know what? I've just realized what I remember Johnny Whitaker from. Mary Poppins. I think he was in Mary Poppins. Yeah, as one of the one of the children that she was um hired to look after. I have a funny feeling he was in that. Or I'm thinking of a different Disney film, which is entirely possible. <laughs> yeah, because he was in quite a bit of Disney films. This is be his bread and butter. Yeah. In the seventies. And, um, yeah, so no time like the present. We must just get right into it. Yeah, let's do it. He shall be taken. He shall be taken. Be taken. Be taken. Be taken. Thank <laughs> you. 
He reminds me of the father in uh, Poltergeist. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. This is a really interesting opening. It's almost like we started. Obviously, a bit of. <laughs> yeah, I a bit of history from the looks of it. History of the building. There he is. This place is for sale. Paul, this place is for sale. This place is two hours from New York City. It's a long way to commute. Oh, that wonderful voice. Yep. I like your view of the place better. Uh, it's more romantic. Ooh. Hello. Hmm. I thought maybe he was a ghost. I was going to say, I was half expecting the door to open on its own. Well, maybe it's the owner. Stevie, you come here now. You be careful. I almost caught a rat. Rats. Nice. I'll be back in the <laughs> well, I expect the rats are healthier out here. <laughs> Probably. Paul. Well, uh, why don't you go speak to the man and see if he is the owner? Now, if we buy a house, there'll be no trip to Europe. There'll be no second car for you. There'll be no summer camp for Stevie. Oh, well, this is a summer camp. <laughs> I think she wants the house. <laughs> hmm. Well... That top half moon sort of window mm -hmm. makes me think of the Amityville Horror House. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was thinking of the same thing.
Ja. all very idyllic mm -hmm. nice sort of calm start see we're not farmers i work for an advertising agency in new york and uh, she well we both have been looking for a place in the country well i was thinking uh, it'd be best for a new owner to just use it for weekends it doesn't have uh, city conveniences this is probably get to hating it uh i could Farm the land for you. No, no, I, uh, I can't afford both places. Well, you know better what you have to do. It's for sale, like the sign says. Still, it's, um, it's a strange place. Well, the water is sweet, isn't it? I mean, it's got a good deep well. Hmm. Uh, the, the, the land's not worn out, is it? No, soil's fine. Yeah. It's better than most. Uh, but it's a different place. <laughs> the uh, land's really a living thing to you, isn't it? No, well, the land breathes like any man. And different is one is from another. Good and bad. Yeah. Yeah, he kind of missed the uh, missed the hint there. Yep. Well, it's a real fixer-upper. We could swing it, but... Uh... Oh, Paul, I love this house. Please let me try. Please. Can we really swing it, do you think? <laughs> yeah. How soon can we move in? That soon. That's pretty quick. <laughs> I made it myself. That's a pentacle to ward off evil. Oh, it's a kind of nice design. I think I'll leave it there. Well, it's one thing to paint it on. It's another thing to believe in it. Getting weird. We're having some serious establishing um, shots here. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, where are we going with it? Protected from evil as any barn in Bucks County. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, I know. No. Okay. <laughs> 
disagree, honey. Oh. No, I mean, really, they ought to agree. You just about to start a whole new design craze. Think so? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I fed the kids early for a change, so it's just the two of us. Oh, nothing special in mind. Oh. Are these our tomatoes? Mm -hmm. I have something that I, I want to tell you. Oh, no. no, I saw Garman in the field today, yeah. and he had killed a chicken, and he was letting it bleed, and then he was swinging it back and forth all over the ground. How do you like that? Thank you. Enjoy your supper. <laughs> yep. I'm sorry, but I had to tell you, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I told you these people around here are very strange. You know. I'll take the chicken. Killing a chicken and letting it bleed in the field probably means that they're trying to put fertility into the land. No. no. Some of these old ideas, these old beliefs, they die very hard. As hard as the chicken? Oh, come on. They're probably going to have it for dinner anyway. I'm sure the chicken didn't feel anything. <laughs> I do feel sorry for the chicken, though. <laughs> I made a couple of house payments in the place. Oh. Yeah, we're going to rent the place for a uh, apple bar commission. I think it's a good idea. Fresh air and clean well water and that whole image. You know? I thought we might have a housewarming after the shoot. You know, with the cast and the crew and uh, well, maybe a couple of guys from the agency. Mm. Good idea? Mm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'd be getting up to go, what's that? <laughs> what's going on? Oh, they're in that room with the half moon window. Please tell me that's not a cat in distress. Sounds like a crying baby. It does, but it's like a cross between like a cat sound and a baby. Our cat Leela is sat here and she was listening to that just then. <laughs> She's looking at me like, what you watching, mom? <laughs> I'm loving the subtlety of the music. Yes, it's starting to sort of lean in that direction. It's getting a little bit spookier now. It started out very soft and gentle and idyllic, and now it's starting to get a little bit more 
mysterious. That sounds like a cat. No, now it sounds like a baby. What's up? What's up? You hear a kid crying? <laughs> yeah, I'm like. It's freaking me out, woman. I know. Also, the rat says, thanks for slamming the door in my face. Uh, Yeah, that was rude. Just a dream. Let me hear it's Stevie. It's all right. It's just a dream. It's all right. Okay. Come on. That's it. Commercial break. <laughs> She's wondering whether to tell him. Please. Quiet, nightmare. Apples come in chocolate brown. Mm, they're wonderful. Apples come in taffy gold. Mm, they're scrumptious. Listen to me, all you folks. Hear me when I say apple bar, apple bar. Send me all the way. Got it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> his look on his face was like, uh, yeah. Now you just got it. I'll do it. All right. Get up on the word wonderful, not scrumptious. Okay. Okay. Paul. Paul. Yeah. Here. Weird sound here. I can't figure out what it is. I also chat. There's no chat. Yeah, listen. That's weird, huh? 
Marge. 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 Did you remember to turn out the refrigerator like I asked? Yes, and uh, the freezer too. You did? All right, settle down. We're listening for a strange sound. Well, I don't know why you're worried about the sound anyway. I mean, that girl can't sing at all. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if somebody else was going to notice that. We're going to dub another voice in later, but I just want to get a clear track. It's all right. Okay, Phil, let's try this. That was a bit rude. She just took it off him. Yeah. Oh. Well, I don't know what it was, but it's gone now. It is. That <laughs> sounds all right. Well, okay, let's go. <laughs> all, right, all, right, all, right, all right, all right, settle down, settle down. Let's get position number one. Now, Ben, remember, get up on one. Hmm? Wards off evil, oh, right? Ready? So, obviously, it. Apple, mm. chocolate brown. Mm, they're wonderful. Apples come and taxi go. Okay. Walking around. I'd be like, put those down, bitch. They're not yours. You said that girl couldn't sing, but she sure is good looking. I don't know. What kind of class? Matching class. Yeah, what about if you wanted to read the great support off the Pennsylvania countryside? Okay. Yeah. 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 And then I won for you. And that was the time that uh, Hal Clement caught uh, Blackwater fever. <laughs> <laughs> I recognize that guy. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. And my award. Today's work. You seem to know something about all those things. Not really, but I had this boyfriend who was really nuts about boots and devils and all of that. <laughs> so he turned me on. <laughs> you turned me on. You. Yeah, well, see you later. See you later. Uh, I don't... The trees are just beautiful. Have you been doing any gardening? No, I haven't started that yet. And well, I still have so much to do in that. Exactly that. Yeah. Oh, the house looks lovely. Well, it really yeah. does. Look at around for miles. Our airlifting supplies in. Location manager takes one look at the site. It's just as far as the eye can see is jungle. He takes a look at it, and he says, "You know, when I was a kid, all this used to be apartment houses and hotels." <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been a lovely party, anyway. Yeah. Well, magical. So, Mom, I'll take you home. Okay. <laughs> Um, to go wow wow <laughs> if they make it that far. Small barbecue. That the place was badly marked. Yeah. No explanation on that. If we hadn't given the party, they'd still be alive. Well, you, you can't figure things like that, honey. Now, don't you go collecting any free-floating guilt now, you hear? But it's true. Well, yeah, it's true. If you hadn't come out here, he'd still be alive. If he'd gotten a sore throat, he'd stayed in the city. If they'd turned right instead of left at our, our gate and gone through Washington's corner, yeah, they'd still be alive. You can't figure things like that. I mean, there's no other explanation for it.
there is one to walk from there. They, mm, they, mm. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah. Who? Oh, you have to work for her own. Hello, honey. What's up? I just saw Garman in the field again. He's killed another chicken. I can't tell you how ugly I find it. Well, I'll have to talk to him. I just won't have it anymore. Now, will you relax? I'll be late tonight, but I'll talk to him first thing in the morning, okay? Okay. You know, I heard the baby crying in the barn the other night. And when I went out to see, then it sounded as if it were coming from the house. Honey, will you please not do that? There's something disturbed you in the middle of the night. Get me up. We're auditioning girl singers. I'm a little busy. I'll talk to Gary in the morning, okay? Bye. It's kind of an odd time to start telling him that. Someone's not happy. That's not going well. Harry's not happy. No. Well, that's that. What did you say to him? He was waving his arms all over. Well, he said something, I said something. He yelled, I yelled. I fired him. We'll have to get somebody else to work the place. He said we were fools. And he'd rather not work for fools. Well, how did he justify that? He said we were mocking the devil, especially you. He inferred that we caused that accident. Drinking and foolishness. You think everybody around here thinks that of us? That's it. Now remember, the one that eats the most in ten minutes gets the prize. Easy there. Don't leave your teeth in there. Hey, watch it there, Stevie. What are you doing there? You get any more on your plate than you on your mouth? All like a pan twirl. And look at Bruce. <laughs> you have more neighbors than you think you have. Really, come on. Yeah, I don't know. Know. That reminds me of the scene from Jaws. Oh, how do you do? I'm Marjorie. Oh, I'm, I'm Ernest Lincoln. Were those people killed on your property? Yes. It was on the Schiller property. This is where an excuse me. Oh, Harry, this is Miss, Mr. and Mrs. Worden, your ladies' guests and neighbors, Harry. Good, good. I'm hurt. How do you do? And this is... Uh, They're a friendly bunch. Ernest. Yeah. Oh, how do you do? Harry. Out for the hungry ones? Sure, sure thing, Harry. Are, uh, are, you, uh, are you retired, sir? Uh, no, my uncle compiles cookbooks. He's a very good. What? Oh, they want to know what you do. I put together cookbooks, yeah. I saw an example of your work with the Pentagon. Very skillful handling of the design. Remarkable. Where on earth did you see that? They want to know how you know about the Pentacle. I was over at the Schillers, that's how. I know that. 
They have one uh, tacked up on their new fence. The fence the couple crashed into. Terrible. Terrible. Yes. Yes. I lost. What's the and your manners are all with it to wipe your mouth off. Terrible. <laughs> Only child? No, no, no. Small daughter at home with the city. I put together a Pennsylvania Dutch cookbook, Amish, Germanic, sour, stick to the ribs kind of food. I illustrated it with pentacles and hexes. I've got a lot of books on the subject. I've studied a lot. I bet you'd like to see some of those books. Come with me into the library. I'll show you. <laughs> I spend all my time in here, or in the kitchen, since my wife died. I hardly ever go to bed. I had a devil in the house once. Oh? They don't believe. You believe in God? Yes. Well, if you believe in God, then you have to believe in the devil. They're inseparable. I got rid of that devil, though. You know how? Well, I talked to him, you see, but when he talked to me, I couldn't hear him. Drove him crazy, and he left. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad to see that you have a sense of humor about this. I wouldn't want Marjorie here to become too seriously involved in it. Why is that? Because he thinks that I am very gullible. Uh, Both feet off the ground. Uh, you know? <laughs> Here are some ripe ones. Now, the idea of the circle is for protection. If a circle like these is drawn and you stand inside it, you're protected from the devil and all his buddies, no matter what. But the person in the circle is supposed to pray the Lord's Prayer, almost anything from the Bible. Well, they are very lovely, but I think it's all rather weird. Well, that's the way to go through life. Thumbing your nose at the world. <laughs> I'd like to stop by one time and see how you do the pedicles. Oh, yes, well, that would be very nice. Thank you. I'd like that. Thank you. Evie, <laughs> be careful. It's wet. Walk. Walk around. Just walk all the way around. Okay. Oh, you had to do that. Now, here's what we're going to do. Come on, don't get your knees on. Now, this is going to be fun for you. We're going to uh, speak an incantation. You know what it's about? It's about magical words. This okay. is going to end well. Start out, and then when I point to you, you have to repeat it after me. Okay. Let me find it. Yes. In the name of the powerful, we sanctify this place for our good and lasting life. No, Stevie, no being natural or supernatural shall be allowed to break this barrier, nor bring about our destruction. With this chant, we ask your protection and grace. Ready? Okay. Now you just, you, re you repeat after me. You, you ready? Yeah. Okay. I am. I am Osiris and Orpheus. I am Osiris. Uh, no, and Orpheus. And Orpheus. I am the judge and the everlasting. I am the judge. No, don't do that. No. I am the judge and the everlasting. Okay. Because you, you have to be serious or it falls apart. You ready? Okay. Alas, I shall never die. Okay. Alas, I shall never die. Commercial break. Yep. Powering a dragon. I'm one to cure the gout. Here's one for ulcers. <laughs> oh, well, I'll have to tell Paul about that. Ulcers. And here's one to gain a man's love. Oh, here is a splendid one. How to arouse a woman's passion. 
how a devil takes over innocent people and uses them to do his work. It's like a disguise, old wine and new bottles. It's fascinating. You know, I thought I heard a baby crying. I thought I heard a baby crying in the barn the other night. In the barn? A baby crying? Did you check it out? It was a false alarm. Evil spirits do not necessarily bring about mayhem themselves, but possess a human being to cause ruin and shame. The devil is thought to materialize as a black cat or a toad and expect kisses from his subjects. Where have you been? I thought I told you not to wander all. Mm -hmm. Do you remember Mr. Lincoln, Steve? Hello. Hello, Stevie. Where have you been? In the shed. All kinds of jars of stuff out there. Jars of what? Jars of... Steve, you have to speak up. Speak very clearly and slowly, or Mr. Lincoln will not be able to understand you. Jars of stuff in the shed! Probably the old school shed. Everything eventually got stored there. Would you do me a favor? Would you go upstairs and see if Lori's all right? Okay, thank you. Welcome here. Or you could, you know, sit closer to him so you don't have to show him across the room. I'm just yeah. saying. I just know my own son. You know, this is fascinating. I'd like to record your account of the other night, if you'll allow it, when you heard the baby crying. Yes, but why? I like to keep records of odd occurrences like that. You could come over to my house, or I could bring my portable tape recorder over here. I recorded the story of a woman from Trenton who claimed that a devil came through the keyhole of her door, ate 13 white seedless grapes from a bowl in the kitchen, promptly kissed her ravishingly, then returned to the kitchen, ate 13 more grapes, and let himself out through the keyhole. And she never saw him again. <laughs> <laughs> Those must have been some grapes. Uh, yeah. Hello? Hi. I've been trying to find time all day to call you. Oh, that's all right. I've been talking to Harry Lincoln about magic spells. <laughs> My wife, the witch. Listen, I have to go out to the coast first thing tomorrow. So I'm going to need some new shirts at the very least. We're going to show the new campaign to the client. Yes, well, I'll, I'll get everything ready. Not the kids. No problem. That's fine. And how are you, Mrs. Wharton? Oh, I'm very well. Bye. You're going to be daddyless for a couple of days. Where's he going? Oh, Los Angeles or some other godforsaken place.
I'd have ripped the door off the hinges by now. Poltergeisty. Yes. Oh, I want to leave this place. Well, I uh, have a vacation coming up in about three weeks. I could use one. Well, go away. I want to leave here now. You gotta be kidding. Do I look like I'm kidding? Not even having a bad time. The kids are getting you down. No. No, it's not the children. All so many strange things have happened to me. I can't begin to explain to you. But I feel as if something or someone is trying to possess me. Yeah. Me. Don't you ever be serious. I swear that all you ever think about is trying to sell tomato ketchup. That's it. Haven't you been listening to me? I want to leave this place. I say you're kidding. I have sunk every dime I've got into this place. Now, we just got here. I've seen you like this before. Now, you stop it now. On a vacation, you'll be all right. I won't stay. I'm going to take the children and I'm going to New York. You can come if you want. It's up to you. You hear me? Fine. We'll sell the place. I'll call a realtor in the morning. I'll go back to the city and live happily ever after. I kind of with him there because in his mind, you know, he's like, you were so anxious to get into the place. He bought it. And now she's just like, oh, oh. but he doesn't, he doesn't know what's going on, but. Yeah. I asked my nephew Ernest to drop me off here. Hoping to catch you on your way to your commuter train. Something on my mind. Well, good. Come on. I'll get you Nice car. Yeah. Cool. Those are the days. Marjorie's had a couple of nasty experiences on the farm. Shockers. Yes, yeah, so I understand. She even wanted me to sell the place. I think you should. Why? Do you want to buy it? She's been under terrible stress. Germán called me. He said he heard her screaming last night. He said he'd have looked in on her, but he was afraid she'd order him off the place. He thinks she got you to fire him. I didn't know about the screaming. She's really been shaken up, maybe close to an emotional breakdown. I'd say at this moment, she feels she's brought something evil into your lives. Evil? <laughs> you know, some places are evil. You can buy them, but you can't always own them. I'd consider a change if I were you. I believe there's a devil. I know it can come disguised to me. Sometimes you have to accept things you've ridiculed in the past. You're incapable of resisting a thing if you don't believe it exists. Don't set up a wall when Marjorie tells you how she's felt or what she's seen. Open up. Listen. As if her life were in danger. <laughs> I know that she's been going through some kind of a transition, but to blame it on the devil is a complete avoidance of reality. 
I'm not going to see a railroad. I don't intend to. Not for a few days, anyway. Until, until I see whether she's calmed down or not. If I sold the place now, I'd take a terrible loss. I got a hunch she's been on something. I mean, like, maybe she's out squeezing those grapes out back into some high proof stuff. All I'm asking you is that you consider what I'm saying. You're nearly always at home if you need me. Yeah, and I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm glad you're there to keep her upright. There's my place. Yeah. Yeah, nope. Toy yeah. or not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That would not end well with me. <laughs> Don't play like that with her. Now take that thing away. Take it away. Stevie. <laughs> Smash goes the window. Uh, yeah. And wait for it. I think it's all affecting them. Light has given way to darkness, and evil seeks our very souls. Paul, listen to me. You have to come home. 
I've done something terrible. Oh, darling, I'm right in the middle of a business meeting. Paul! Well, all right, I'll leave right now. Mrs. Warden? I'm sorry, I haven't seen your uncle for a couple of days. Uh, well, my, you really changed this place. I haven't been here since McDermott got killed. McDermott? Oh, uh, he was the man that lived here before you did. I never thought it was much of an accident myself. Interesting camera guess, shot uh, between the... If you thought that, you wouldn't have bought mm. the house. In the eyes. Yep. Yeah, I was here. Uh, last time was a week before McDermott got killed. He was very shaky. He said he was going to burn the place down. Uh, he said, uh, I've got to destroy it before it destroys me. Well, McDermott was uh, never very stable. Goodbye, sweet baby. Well, I guess I'll be going. That What's was up? weird. <laughs> Are you going to be all right? He's just a wee shady. That was mega weird. Children, you know that. I've never even spanked them before. You are aware of yes, that. Yes, Marjorie, I know that. But that boy looks like he's... Well, what happened? I realize that he is really hurt. Now, I have apologized to him, and I am trying to apologize to you. I'm sorry. You understand that? I'm sorry. Do you oh. understand the what happened part? <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, you know, what part, what part of that do you not grasp? You see, I don't believe in physically punishing children. I don't think that I ever hit Stevie before. I'm having a hard time believing it was really me. I would be so ashamed if you had to see him today. You don't have to shout to make me hear you. See, when my wife died, I kind of retreated. I didn't feel like talking to people, so I told everyone I was losing my hearing. I even said I was going to see a specialist in New York. I went to New York, all right, but you know what I did? <laughs> I went to a girly show. <laughs> You're so depressed, I can't have you shouting. A 102-year-old woman from Germantown sent me the recipe for those. It's supposed to give you a long life and a short temper. 
want you to try one of them. No. No, thank you. Uh, I'm not so sure that I want a long life. And I think I already have a short temper. It's strange, you know, but I... I start out to laugh and I end up crying. You know, um, the books that you gave me, I've been reading them a lot lately. If I thought they were going to tear you up like this, I wouldn't have given them to you. No, it's not the books. Can you believe that I believe that the devil is in my house? Yes. If you believe there's a devil, you believe the devil's in your house, then for you it's true. I don't trust myself. I'm afraid for the children, too. I have to go home. I've left Stevie with the baby. Marjorie! Some things are more powerful than pentacles. Like love. It's a powerful force, Marjorie. I live only a mile away. The telephone puts us in touch in seconds. Don't hesitate. I won't. Apple Bar commercial re-recording, take two. Apples come in chocolate brown. Mmm, -hmm. they're wonderful. Apples come in taffy gold. Mmm, -hmm. they're scrumptious. Cut, 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 cut. You got it, Irene? Do it. Honey, you're giving out with just a little too much rock sound. Make it sweet. Remember, this is the girl next door uh, with freckles. Freckles. <laughs> All right. Anytime you're ready, bro. You sounded pretty good to me. <laughs> no, thank you. Oh. Oh, can you come home? Honey, I can't possibly come down there tonight. I'm right in the middle of a session. As a matter of fact, I'll probably be staying in town tonight. This thing's going to go late. I'm sorry, I really, I didn't mean to bother you. You, know, you must think I'm crazy calling you all the time like this. Why don't you call Harry and have him come over and sit with you? Promise me you'll do that. Yes. Yes, I'll do that. Sin, I'm really sorry that I bothered you. No, I'll talk to you more. find interesting. I found it when I synced your new track. You see it? There it is. Ooh. It won't go away. Mm -hmm. You sure it's not just a print? It's on the negative. <laughs> Hmm. 
but that's not spooky at all. No, that was pretty good. It's amazing to see the actor John Rubenstein, I think. He's so young here. I have something to tell you. My uncle was attacked last night. I just came from his house. There are lots of policemen there. They said that he was left for murdered, but he didn't die. He's in terrible shape, though. They're not letting anybody see him now because, well, there's not much to see anyway. I haven't seen much of him myself since you came here. Perhaps if I had, he wouldn't be like he is. Have a nice day. Yeah, it's, well, help. welcome to my house. Sure, there's a cat waiting for me at the airport. Something wrong, Mom? Stevie, go to your room. I told you to go to your room. Yeah, I'd go to your room. understand the way you are. Stevie, I want you to know that I love you and Lori and Daddy very much. Stevie, it's very important that you hear what I have to say. Now, Lori is so small and she's not going to be able to take care of herself. 
You are going to have to help because I can't anymore. Mama can't trust herself to help either of you anymore. Sometimes I don't know what I'm going to do. That was weird. Hmm. This whole movie's like a big mind fuck almost. It is. She was going to jump down. Just hear me. I know. Harry guessed it. It's your son, Mrs. He's the devil's own. He's been taken from you. When I heard about Harry, I started. Right over. Now, is he home, your son? He's locked in his home. And the baby? You heard you the first time. <laughs> Marjorie! Hey, dear. circle now. She loves him.
that was definitely interesting. Yeah, that was interesting. Um, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to make of that one. Um, <laughs> the, the, the <laughs> That was that. I think you you hit it. You hit it well when you said that was a bit of a mind fuck. That one. <laughs> that was very strange. It um, was it, very very strange, wasn't it? Oops. Oh. Yeah. I like Darren McGavin. <laughs> he was good. Um, Sandy Dennis is the mother. She like, I don't know. She just really annoyed me. She yeah. really annoyed me. She was very sort of wishy-washy and I, I couldn't tell what they were going for, like what kind of a performance they were going for with her. She was just, I don't know. She was just really weird. Um, but one of the things I noticed is that I didn't really feel much of anything for any of the characters. I, I couldn't really get invested. Yeah. Uh, I'm like, a, well, because Darren McGavin is, is he's, you know, he's Darren McGavin. So, I mean, I, he's about the only one that I was actually invested in as a character. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if this one really hit the mark for me. I think it was, it, there are some interesting little things I picked up though. What what were your thoughts on it? Well, I'm, I'm still sitting here thinking, what, what the hell did I just watch? It was, um... <laughs> It was rushed, yeah. For one thing, like there was, yeah, it, it, it could have taken its time and told the story a little bit more and had a, bit, a little bit more of um, the devil or whoever the who was possessing the kid and stuff like that. You know, it, this, yeah. the end, this felt like it's like, oh shit, we're running out of time. We got ten minutes to go here. I want to get home, see my family. So let's just wrap up this movie really fast. And uh, we'll just have some wind blowing in. Kid goes a little crazy, and uh, then we'll call it a call it a movie. <laughs> that was, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was, yeah, yeah. Right, so, was. yeah, that was weird. And and they like certain scenes like dragged out forever. Yeah, and I get I get the build up. I get the sort of you know trying to go for the sort of build up, and it kind of almost worked in a couple of the scenes in the beginning, but. They could have filled that with so much more of the actual story. And like you said, like having the actual devil, <laughs> having a little bit more of the the sort of paranormal side and the spooky side where the, cause the kid, I had no, I thought the devil, I thought like, I don't know. I don't know what the hell I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, she's, she's doing, I ex half expected her to do like a Jack Torrance and start running around after them with an ax or something. Yeah, sort of um, well, especially when she locked them in the room and then threw the key away. I thought she's going to burn the place down. That's what was going through my mind. I was like, yeah, she's she's the one that's possessed. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, it's the sun. OK. <laughs> really? You know, I was like, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Steel and Spielberg must have been on some pretty good stuff in the 70s when he did this one. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's an interesting little fact, though, that I saw on IMDb, and it got. I started looking for it because in the sort of first half of the film, where they're at somebody's house and they're having this big, there's like a big party and there's people talking and talking over each other, and mm -hmm. um, the camera pans through the crowd, and I saw uh, Carl Gottlieb, yep. who. Um, also was in Jaws and he played uh, when he was much younger, he played the TV reporter and the yep. local newsman in Jaws. And I recognized him, his voice first. And then I recognized him very much. And I didn't actually see this, but I read it after that Spielberg also has a cameo in that scene in the house. Did you catch it? No, I didn't. He was in there apparently. Um, and another person by the name of, um surname was McCready, I think, and I'm not as familiar with him. But Carl Gottlieb, I like know instantly because I've seen Jaws so many times. Yeah. Um and at first I was thinking they must be uncredited, but 
because I had a hard time finding a lot of detail about because I was I knew that was Carl Gottlieb and I was like why isn't it not coming up like really obviously on some of the searches I was doing and then and then I did finally get get to the right page you know where I I could see but I noticed in the film in the credits at the end it does say in the in the actors it does say Carl Gottlieb and it says McCready and it says Steven Spielberg so he does credit himself and the others even though it's kind of like an uncredited you know they're just little cameo cameo spots so um yeah i think i don't think spielberg probably lists this one high on his cv not that he has to bother anymore but you know, i was like yeah. what was that <laughs> <laughs> it's like I said, it's a real mind fuck that one. I mean, it's more of a mind fuck than the collecting chicken for crying out loud. <laughs> I, know. I mean, that yeah. one weird. This one was just like I was. I don't even know what the word for this one is. I've I've seen better, like movies filmed on a smartphone. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what is this? What? No, no. That you could see there was some artistic elements going on from the directorial side of things i'd love to see what ian uh thinks of this the mega geek because i wonder what he would say but i think you you mentioned it as well when they're talking to each other through i think john rubenstein when they're talking to each other through the door mm -hmm. and she's got the chain across yeah it that is, was very cleverly hard, 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 hard. shot yeah yeah a couple shots where the the camera's panning with her as she's walking now those yeah. were some cool shots too like that's earlier spielberg stuff right there yeah uh, yeah but yeah yeah that was definitely was like yeah. hints of brilliance of steven spielberg but yeah then the rest of it was it was like nothing know. it was like nothing it was like yep. <laughs> it, it was like parts of something that none of them kind of like mesh together well. Um, and and I the characters, like I say, with the exception of, of Darren McGavin, and even his character was quite watered down, you know, there was no, you just couldn't get invested in, in any of them. Particularly her, she, she was really annoying. Yes. <laughs> I, hmm. I, yeah. yeah. I just I have no words for this one. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like, I, wow. I'm curious to see what people will make of this one when they In watch the chat, it. Yeah. Oh, geez. <laughs> I mean, this hmm. two, out of, <laughs> two out of 10 out of this one for me, I think. This, <laughs> yeah. this is a major fail. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm going to say two, two or three out of 10 and, and all, every single one of those goes to Darren McGavin. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and nothing against the the child actor actors in it, but um, you know, because but it, I just I've seen better performances from all of those actors that I know of, and I mean Ralph Bellamy is a fantastic mm -hmm. was a fantastic fantastic actor, and then you also had the other actor that's in the very beginning, and that was Jeff Corey who plays German. He's a, he's a masterful actor, really brilliant. Um, so they had a great cast to work with, but yeah. I don't know what happened. And Sandy Dennis is quite in an esteemed actress yeah. herself. But I don't know. They thought, well, let's do this movie because of Steven Spielberg. I don't know. <laughs> then afterwards, they're probably like, yeah, okay. Well, have, a, have a good time in there, Steven. We'll yeah. Yeah, that, I don't know what was going on there. But that was very strange. Yeah, very strange. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I think I need a drink now. <laughs> wow. What? Hey, this is this is why we do this this channel. I think is we're not always going to have great ones, and you know, yeah. movies that are going to make you go. What the what fuck the was that? <laughs> the fuck did you just want? <laughs> And that was one of these movies. That was one of them. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, I don't think we have anything really more to say on that no, one. No, no. I think I think that's probably it on that one. <laughs> <laughs> wow.
Well, yeah. okay, well, stay tuned for previews for the next one, and we guarantee it's going to be better than this one. <laughs> yes, definitely. Yeah. And, uh, all right, well, uh, yeah, bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we're broken now. We're yeah, broken. We're broken now, it yeah. broke us now. <laughs> God. All right, bye-bye. Okay, ciao. engaged to three men and all three of them had a horrible fate. The kiss of death, girl. How'd you get in the cellar? When I came to, I saw this face bending over me. White, smiling, like death. Oh, Lucky, you've got to get out of here. Not without you. Look out! You'll die like all the fools who try to marry Eleanor. That's all, folks.